Hi everyone, it's Noren Petitbois, welcome in this new video. This time I will be making a peacock feather mixed media painting. I'm using a peacock feather chipboard by Gina Designs and as a first step I'm covering everything with black gesso. It will be my base, you'll see later why. I'm using a small canvas board and I'm using super heavy gesso to create texture. This time I'm using a very fluffy brush and because it's heavy gesso it's very thick and it will hold the brush strokes so beautifully. This is easy texture mark making that everyone can do very easily. Now that it's completely dry I'm using molding paste and a stencil and I'm applying just a few here and there. I really, really like the grunge feel that it easily adds. Yes, my stencil was still dirty. I guess it was ink, but it's okay. It will add some more visual interest. While the canvas is actually drying, I'm going back to the feather and adding color. For that, I'm using the primary elements, which are artist pigments which uh, have mica to them that makes them very shimmery and they're very bright and very versatile so I love using them because there's so many ways this time I'm just using uh, the Ranger embossing dabber because it's very sticky and it will be um, easier for me to have the powder stick to the feather that way. You could use maybe one of the embossing embossing ink pad as well if you have that. So I'm just adding the color in and there and as you can see I can blend two colors together to create something unique and that's you guys that's so beautiful. I wish you could really see the shimmer I'm trying to show but it's not that easy to capture on camera back to the canvas it's now time to add some color the radiant rain have mica to them as well so you need to really shake 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 so it's really well blended with the solution and can you see how vibrant that is that's just gorgeous you don't need much to add color to any of your project and I'm drying just to be sure that uh, I'm getting the color I want and adding some more. They're really good for layering as well. And now using my E2 to dry it very, very thoroughly. And using a contrasting color, Spanish moss, I will take the sprayer part apart and create beautiful splatters. You know, splatters makes me happy. Look at that, it, I mean, it goes so beautifully with the texture created. And now it's the last step, gluing the feather to the canvas. And I'm using extra heavy gel, but you could use strong uh, glue as well. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.